Chiropractic's been told to me so many times by people that it is a great specialty for low back pain. It is a great specialty for neck pain or for headaches, but it's a lot more than that. And uh, that's what I'd like to share with you. Um, I started with chiropractic um, when I graduated from school back in 1991 and started in an office that was really about back pain and neck pain. And it was really about just taking care of people that had been in auto accidents or workers' comp injuries and things of that sort. But I started to see there was a lot more to it. Um, a lot more would come out in people than just getting rid of pain. A lot more would come out in the sense that people would not only tell me, hey, I feel better, they would say, wow, I can go out and play with my kids more. I can go out and, and have more fun. So it made me kind of go back to my roots and want to go back to my country of Panama and start an organization that we call CRU, Chiropractors Restoring Energy Worldwide. And as a result of this, we actually went and we started doing a lot of missions into this country and later spread out and did some in Costa Rica as well. Um, but it was our way of giving back, our way of trying to get this beautiful chiropractic message out to people. We went down the first time with uh, 26 doctors and after a week, which we thought we'd see a few people, we ended up seeing pretty close to 46,000 people. It was an incredible experience. Uh, we got help from the government. We were on all the TV shows. We were on all the talk shows, equivalent to what would be Oprah and Phil Donahue and uh, David Letterman and all these people. And it was, um, it was fabulous to be able to be a part of that. But what was even more fabulous was to see the response from the people to see that we were put in centers with confidence from the government, if you can believe this, the government took us in and took us to these places where they would actually set up a chiropractic station in a school for children that were deaf, mute, and dumb. And the interesting thing is we went into the prisons there and adjusted people, which we can't do here. And we, many of the orthopedic surgeons and medical doctors invited us right into their waiting room to adjust the people as they were sitting in their room, in their waiting room to, to go in to see them we would be able to go and set up a station in a, a home that was made for malnourished children that were dying because the parents had no idea on how to feed the kids correctly or there wasn't enough to feed them. And these babies were going through late stages of malnourishment. We were able and taken by the government in to go into places where they were homes for people that were into their 90s and even one gentleman that was 109 years old that we got to adjust. We were able to go into centers where people were having great difficulties because they were having problems with breathing, with Parkinson's, with so many things. And um, it, it was really remarkable. It was remarkable to be able to walk into a stadium and literally see in a basketball stadium filled with people waiting to be seen by us and the line would go all the way around the stadium waiting in the hot sun so that they can get this miracle that people had told them about called chiropractic. In Panama City, we'd go into the, uh, the stadium and there'd be 15,000 people sitting in the bleachers waiting for us to come in. They would applaud as we walked in the door, so we sort of felt like basketball stars or something. And uh, it was uh, just an amazing thing to be able to adjust people, tell them in Spanish, in our terrible Spanish, uh, that, that they, bring, they should bring their family in the next day. And sure enough, they come back with their families. And so the thing just grew and grew. This grew so much that we would go back for second and third and fourth. And 13 missions later, we're able to take 100 and I believe it was 130 doctors down. And we made 365,000 adjustments in one week. A staggering number, but a number that's very capable of being done when you're doing something with intent, with passion. I always heard stories in school about how people would line up and there'd be droves of people, you'd adjust a thousand people a day, each one of you. And I thought it was just a, a fallacy, that it was something that we kind of made up in, in our world of chiropractic. And when I got there and saw all the children and the people in wheelchairs and the amount of time these people just laid down on the ground and waited for us to be there, it was incredible. Like I get the chills now when I think about it. We were able to see people that were literally, literally given a death sentence, that were literally told in a hospital, you have but days to live because you have liver failure. Call us and say, before I die, I want to have what I'm seeing on TV. I wanna see if they can help me. And we had an experience where we had one of our doctors, Dr. James Sigafus, went to a hospital and was able to adjust this gentleman who was later able to walk out of the hospital. And to this date has been able to communicate and talk to us 
and is still doing well from what we understand, which is marvelous to hear. We were able to see a little girl that at age three had fallen off of a horse and lost, I believe it was 60 or 70% of her ability to ear, hear in her ears after neck trauma. And she was adjusted by one of the doctors and the mother came crying back to the office because this little girl was able to hear again. I think that's a little bit more important than just a back pain or a neck pain, even though those things are important. And, and this woman uh, started to cry and he went up and uh, was talking to her in Spanish adjusted her and she screamed and ran out. And we thought, well, my goodness, she was hurt or something. But she came back the next day and she said, I want to tell you something. She said, when you adjusted me, when you did my neck, I felt a bolt of electricity go through my body and, and I ran out. And, uh, and, and I, was, I had planned on committing suicide that afternoon. And uh, I have no intention of doing that now. And I looked over and one of my friends was adjusting this dad and the, the wife and the mother were standing beside and uh, he adjusted the dad and the dad passed out, fell on the ground and the mother had the newborn baby, a little baby, stepped over her husband and gave the, my friend, the chiropractor, the baby to adjust. And it was just incredible the way that they, the people just understood that what we were doing was turning life on in the body and whatever happened at that point was just up to God. It was incredible. And, uh and, and we saw a lot of uh, miracles, we saw a lot of families, and it was just a pleasure to be there. Uh, their look in their eyes are just, help me. You know, I don't speak Spanish, so all I knew was siéntese, which I, I learned there was just sit down. And when they would look at you, they would look at you with just complete conviction that you were there to, to help them and to heal them. And then towards the end, I, I didn't really know if I had made a connection with certain ones or not, you know, because there's so many people that you see every day. And, maybe three days into it, people were coming and, and bringing cards and, and all of these letters that they had written and gifts. They had, they had sewn all these gifts for me and, and for all the other doctors there. And you just, you realize how heart touching and heart wrenching that it was when, when they, they were doing that. We were able to go personally myself into a facility for these little children with malnourishment and had this one little girl that the nurse there, who was a nun, actually told us, we don't think she's going to make it through the night. She is not taking in any food. Every time we try to give her food, she's regurgitating. Um, this little girl was so malnourished. She had pock marks all over her body, had a very distended belly. And when we'd speak to her, she was in her crib and she wouldn't even acknowledge you were there. Her eyes were just somewhere else and she had a glazed look on her. And we had one of the doctors reach over and put her hands underneath this little baby's head and hold it and hold the atlas and just hold the neck and do a minor adjustment to the area and left hoping that something would happen. And we came back the next day and the little girl was standing in her crib and the nun was crying saying, I don't know what you did, but she's doing better. And she was able to eat for the first time without spitting it up. Very little, but she was able to take something in. This is the miracle of chiropractic. This is what chiropractic is about. When we were leaving, we were on the bus, and there were these lines of people that were still waiting to get adjusted, but were kind of cut off. And they would come up to the bus and just beg us, just one more adjustment, just one more adjustment. It was, it was really breathtaking. Because yes, chiropractic is about helping people with low back pain and neck pain and headaches and swelling in the feet. <laughs> but it's so much more than that because it can also help take care of ear infections and stomach conditions and ulcers and deafness and Parkinson's and liver failure and so many other things. The nervous system controls the whole body. It's absurd to think that if we assist the nervous system in functioning better, we're not gonna help the whole body function better. That's what chiropractic's about. It's about balance, it's about health, it's about prosperity, it's about feeling better, it's about treating your family better, it's about sharing. So I really, really would like and hope that as you watch this, whether it's in a chiropractic office or in your living room, that if you've received the benefit of chiropractic, you remember to share it with other people. Because if we can do what we did in Panama right here at home, we can help hundreds of thousands and imagine how our nation would be. Imagine how much better our schools would be. Imagine how much better our police would be. Imagine how much better our nurses and doctors would be if they were just balanced themselves. 
I really hope that you take this to heart because chiropractic is a lot more than just the pain and the aches and the sprains. It's about giving life. It's about helping life. It's about sharing it with people.